the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to outline my letters with a black marker and I'm going to fast forward. I'm going to do is I am going to make some of the lines thicker in some areas just to add some emphasis. So I'm just following along with the font that is up on the Google Slides. Okay, so now I'm done with kindness and I am going to do something similar over here. So when it comes to that C, I'm going to add a thicker line right where it curves. I'm going to add a thicker line on one side of the O's opening. going to add a thicker line on one side of the H and then on one side of the E. Then I am going to make the outside just a little bit thicker as well. So I am trying to connect my letters a little bit more with a thicker line. You're free to do whatever effects you want to your text. So I'm taking inspiration from street artist Chris Uphughes, and I wanna portray something like that within my composition. And I'm going to try to make it in the shape of a lightning bolt kind of just zigzag. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And I want my zigzags to end in the corners. So that way it guides the eye toward my text. So just something fun. Now I'm going to outline it with my black marker. Okay, so now that I am done with 
my lines, my text, I'm ready to add in the bricks in the background. So we want to show that this is on a wall and we want to include bricks in the background. And depending on where you want your mural to be within the school, maybe it will be on a white brick wall. Maybe it'll be on a red brick wall. You want to incorporate the setting within your design. So to add in bricks, just do lines across, simple horizontal lines. A lot of my elements are overlapping. So hopefully it's not too confusing. Now you want to make vertical lines. Try to space it out. So this is my first set of bricks right up here. And now with my second row of bricks, I want my vertical lines to be in the center of the previous brick. So it's just all about practice. So see, I have my line here and then I'm trying to center it as much as I can. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered. You just want to make sure that they are kind of staggered. I'm just going to add one more detail to my letters. But first I need to erase my pencil lines that are within my text. Next I'm going to add in some reflecting lines. So I want this word right here, I want it to appear shiny. And when things are shiny, the light reflects it. So I wanna show lines that reflect the light. So when it comes to these lines right here that make my letter appear nice and bubbly and shiny, I just wanna pick one side of the letter to do my lines on. So I have picked the right side. add as many or as few as you'd like. You can even add it within the corners. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. And I am going to leave this word as is because I want the attention to be on my kindness word. And now I am done with this next step. This is all we need to do today. Just want to outline your words, maybe add some big details in the background, and then you want to add on your wall. If you don't have big details in the background, don't worry about it. You can add the smaller details next time.